reference operator notated using symbol delta. Delta f of x equals f of x plus h by 2 minus f of x minus h by 2 where h is the interval of difference. Construct central difference table for the values f of 0 equals 8, f of 1 equals 12, f of 2 equals 20, f of 3 equals 34 and f of 4 equals 60. We have the input values x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and output values correspondingly are given as 8, 12, 20, 34 and 60. You can notate 8 as F0, 12 as F1, 20 as F2, 34 as F3 and 60 as F4. We have the first central difference notated as delta F which is obtained by taking consecutive differences. We have first value to be written here is 12 minus 8 which is 4. Next value will be 20 minus 12 which is 8. These differences will be written in midway between the two values lying in the preceding column. We have the third value to be written here will be 34 minus 20 which is 14 which is written in midway between these two values. Next value will be 60 minus 34 which is 26 which is written in midway between these two values. We have notations for these values given by delta f suffix 1 by 2, delta f suffix 3 by 2, delta f suffix 5 by 2 and delta f suffix 7 by 2. Delta square f represents second central difference. First value will be difference between 8 and 4 which is 4. It has the notation delta square f1. Next value will be 14 minus 8 which is written in midway between these two values and it is 6 which has the notation delta square f2. Next value will be 26 minus 14 which is 12 and it has the notation delta square f3. The next column will record third central difference which is 6 minus 4 which equals 2. Next value will be 12 minus 6 which equals 6. Here we can use the notation delta cube f3 by 2 and here we can use the notation delta cube f5 by 2. And the last column will be delta raised to 4 f which is the fourth central difference which is 6 minus 2 which equals 4 and which is the value corresponding to input value x equals 2 which is notated as delta raised to 4 of f of 2 or delta raised to 4 f suffix 2. Just like forward difference table whose last column will give us value corresponding to leading input here central difference table will give last column which will correspond to middlemost input value.